Hey everyone, my name is Peyton, and in this video I want to go over baking inside of Unreal Engine 5. So this video here will actually kind of cover uh, mainly the normal map and how to bake from a high poly to low poly inside of Unreal Engine 5. Um, I am on preview uh, 2, the version of Unreal Engine 5 right now. Uh, the final version has not released yet, but I just wanted to run through some of the latest uh, stuff that's actually in this version. So one thing that you will need for this to work is you will need to go to your plugins and make sure that you actually have the modeling plugin, modeling tools editor mode plugin uh, turned on. And once you have that on, you'll have to restart your Unreal Engine 5 uh, project. But what you'll be able to do now is actually drop down right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and actually go over to my modeling tab, click there. And in my scene here, you will notice this rock uh, that I have from a previous project. And right now, this is just my low poly. Uh, it is a higher uh, low poly that I brought in, um, but I do have a much higher uh, resolution model that I actually wanna bake in uh, here with it, basically. And so I'm gonna bake that high poly onto this and basically get a normal map. Um, now, what I will show real quick as well is this is the low poly here, and then the, the high poly is actually a nanite version. Uh, I did test this both with regular and also with nanite, and you can bring in um, either or, and it doesn't seem to be a problem uh, baking a nanite version or a nanite model onto a low poly, just normal model. Uh, you can see that this uh, triangle count is 20 million tries though, it's pretty high resolution. Um, but yeah, I don't necessarily want to use it for this case, I want to use the low poly, it just had the normal map information on there. So now we have this, I have this here, I only have one in my scene. Uh, what I will want to do is actually I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go ahead and go to edit. And underneath here I'm going to make a duplicate. So now that you'll see that, uh, we have rock A and then rock A2. So we have two versions right here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually drag my high resolution one to this uh, rock A2 location. So now you'll see that, um, and I can turn off the eyeballs if I need to, uh, to see which one's working. I'm gonna also throw on the shader here that we way we can see the high resolution one. Um, but yeah, here is my high res one. If I turn that off, here's my low res one, and they are overlapping. You can see the geo slightly uh, crashing into each other, and that's what we want for the baking. Um, I did try it out where, you know, they weren't actually like set up uh, side by side or whatever, um, and you do need them to overlap kind of like in every other program, they have to be sharing the same space. So now that we have that, we have my high poly, low poly, I'm gonna go ahead and click my low poly, and then I'm gonna click my high poly, and we have both of those selected. And now you'll see that it actually kind of like uh, enables and disables the features that you can use when you have certain things selected and so. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's basically gotten rid of some of these where I can actually use them. But if I scroll down here, you will find the baking tab. Now the middle one, uh, is bake all so that's what we're going to be using for this video uh, and I'll also do another video kind of going over baking textures on single meshes uh, which can be useful if you don't have multiple versions of one and you just want to actually bake get like an ambient occlusion or something like that so uh, yeah we want to go ahead and click here and this is uh, basically baking textures for a single mesh for multiple source meshes like it says uh, so I'm going to click that and it's going to take a second to basically yes yeah, set this up and now you will see that yeah we have a, a result coming from here um, we can see that if we go over here basically the source mesh is our rock a high and then our target mesh is our rock a so that all looks pretty good um, and now it's finally updated to where we're seeing a little bit of like normal information. This is not the final result, but it's just basically showing you kind of how the bake's uh, working. Um, now you will want to make sure you yeah, tangent normal is on. Here's might be default to 256 by 256, 
but you can change it here to 2048 or 4096, whatever resolution that you're wanting for it. I'm just doing 2048 for now. And then there's also samples per pixel. Um, so if you want it to be you know, much uh, higher depth, like just uh, resolution and all, um, just with the, the baking itself, uh, this is going to take much longer, but it will uh, potentially give you better results with the bake itself. Um, and then just a couple of other options. You can target mesh UVs, which UV uh, set that you want it to be applied to uh, and so forth. But that's about it. Um, and yeah, basically I just want to, I can preview it as the material if I want. And you can see you know, how it looks. It uh, looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm good with that. And now remember, uh, you will need to actually uh, hit the accept button down here. Otherwise, everything you've done uh, right now, it's just like a preview and so it's not final. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the accept button and we should get a, yeah. So now all is good. I have my high poly over here. I'm just gonna delete it uh, for now. Don't really need it anymore. Uh, hopefully. So we can see that I have my low poly again. This is the rock shader that I have so far and I'm going to double click on that and actually open it up. Um, so you will notice that the normal map actually exported down here and is now in the content drawer. If I open it up, it's normal map 2048, everything like we said. And what I can do is I can actually drag that in here and then plug it into my normal, hit save, and let that build real quick and compile. So once we have this done, we should now have, if we exit out of here, our normal map on our rock and everything. So yeah, basically we've been able to now accomplish actually baking from a high poly down to a low poly inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, which is really cool because you can do a lot of things now inside of the engine not having to go uh, outside of it to another program and all and uh, import it in and all um, but yeah pretty quick and efficient and you can just do some stuff in here as well uh, to really optimize uh, that workflow so uh, hopefully this was a helpful video and i will be going over another in another video going over the baked textures for single meshes um, this is really helpful if you want to bake like an AO for a model uh, that you don't have like multiple versions for and all. And I'll be using a different uh, simpler model for that. Uh, so yeah, besides that though, I uh, hope this video was helpful and I will see you next time.